honoring him before the game here tonight. 98 years old, passed away in July. Their number one fan, and more on that. It is the tailback. First and 10 from the 25. And it's a reverse, and they get it to Jalen Moore, and he's got a lot of room to recover. Now their opening drive of the night. Logan, and he is wrapped up by... There's a kick from Zane Cox, Freddie Swain. And we'll get maybe a yard on. From the shotgun, Franks. And on the rollout, and he'll find Kyle Pitts. You gotta support your quarterback, but he has all the tools. Pass to the outside, Kadarius Tony, but he's getting some trouble, and Tony all the way back inside of his own 40. Gets some blocks, and he's gonna go right back to the original line. It is P. Ryan. He's got the first. Powers his way to about the 34-yard line. Returning starter of the five. Franks now finds Van Jefferson on the catch. And it's P. Ryan for the play fake in the first and ten. It's Tony again. Blockers in front. Second down and five give to P. Ryan, and he half against Miami. Couldn't get into a flow. Third is short. Frank stumps it off. Oh, it picks a 32 yard attempt. And, and, it, and it stuck. He did it all the way to 2008. And listen, the fans could heed some advice from George Edmondson as well because, again, they're kids. If you're a Gator fan, root them on, right? Tough. As Jamie Bow reverses direction, still on his feet, he's going to get a block from his quarterback, and Bow is up ended. Bow needs the 19-yard line, and Backus, and the catch is made over the 25-yard line. The gift to Bow. Fakes the pass out to Bo, and he's going to run for the first. From the 35, Bo hitting the backfield, and Jeremiah D. Martin, three wide receiver set. Pump fake again, Backus, they try to set up the screen, and Logan has it. Backus has to elude pressure, and he's got Logan on the catch. He's got to get to the 45, and he does. Second punt of the night. Cox kicks to Freddie Swain. It's inside of his own 20-yard line. Good cover. Florida back on offense. So 308 to go first quarter. Leading 3-0. And a give to P. Ryan. Play action to P. Ryan. And Franks gets it out to him, but a nice job by the Skyhawks on coverage. They just got it off as there are no flags down. Franks, and he's going to run for the first down. And across the 40-yard line, I thought that was a 22-yard pickup for the first down. And now Tony trying to get him out in space, and he is throttled to shot. Tony on the sideline being attended to for Florida as the give goes to Piran, and he doesn't have any. First play of the second quarter. Franks with plenty of time. Dumps it off. Tyree Cleveland. Flag is thrown as Cleveland is going to be shot. There's no foul on the play. Pass behind the line of scrimmage. Fourth and three. Franks on the keeper. And he is not going to. Now yeah, there's move. Ball start. Offense. Number 75. But the Skyhawks holding their own here. Keeper by Backus. We'll try Play fake, Backus, again. Logan, up top, he's got it. And More play action, Backus goes deep. He's got Jalen Moore, and it's broken up and incomplete. Another fake to Logan, and a quick pass goes out. Third down for UT Martin from the Florida 39 yard line, and flags come in. Ball start. Offense, number 77. And now it's third down and 11. 
Pressure. Back is That's what's impressive, right? A lot of different players getting in. It's the highest total by an SEC team, Mike, since 2008. Low liner kick. Florida started deep in their own territory on this drive. Damian Pierce gets the call for the first time tonight, and he powers his way for a first. Gets the call again, and they'll bottle him up this time on a first down. Yards is Frank, but it's all underneath stuff. Second down again, Pierce, and he got tripped down and four. And they try to set up a screen, and they're going to get Malik Davis now in the backfield. It's a play fake to him. And he hears that deep shot. Yep. Franks has a man, Dan Jefferson, with a catch and a Gators touchdown. Sixty-nine yard touchdown. Here's a kick from McPherson. What up? Eugene Martin on offense now. Ronnie Williams the second as they try to set up the screen. Second and six. Bo has it. And not much. Shut down at the... Back is his pass. And it comes... Not a great kick, to say the least. And it's good. Florida from the 45. Franks fakes it to him, and now he's going to throw it out to him, and going to be bottled up after gain. Of Second down and eight. P. Ryan looking for room. Franks to the outside of the catch by Josh. Touchdown to Jefferson. Now he's got a wide open man. It's Tyree Cleveland. Touchdown, Florida. So Franks has now thrown a 69-yard touchdown. And just for the record, I had an inkling I thought Texas A&M was going to win, but I never said uh, Martin from their own 25-yard line. Logan on the carry. And going up. Backus on the catch, Terry Williams. And Welsh. Backus. And it's a low throw, they're going to say, after reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is a completed catch. Better team on the field this season. Backus, shot, and a man is open, and reaching out, but I ain't going to... Second down, Backus' pass, it's caught, Peyton Logan, and he's got space down the sideline for UT Martin. Gators coming with pressure. Back is sacked. Yeah, they're going to get hit with a delay of game. Delay of game. Oklahoma had a chance to win and lost that one in overtime. And they try to flip it in front. Back is again running and beach. Freddie Swain awaits the kick again. And it's going to be down at about the first half. Gators starting deep in their own territory. And it's Malik. Try to use up some clock here. Get to the half. They'll also, well, maybe not. Oh, well, they still have one timeout remaining as well. So Frank's low throw, and it's going to be caught. It's completion by Jefferson. Frank's now getting in trouble, and he's going to go down. Five wide on a third down and four. 22 ticks left. Franks with time. Over the middle of the catch is made by Freddie Swain. Got to get out of bat. And two touchdowns. He's going to tuck it and run. Center Red Sox throws a 94 mile an hour fastball. What do we have here? Just a little flip out to the outside. Trayvon Grimes to the catch. The playoff here. Franks has got a chance to go deep to the end zone, which he does. It's up for grabs. And it's incomplete. Broken up. And it's going to be Cleveland. With some room, look out. 
35, 40. Six to a deep pass into the end zone that was incomplete. Now the first play of the second half for him as he's under some stress, and he will dump it off and find respectively. Handoff to LaMichael. Franks going deep again to the end zone, and it's incomplete. Pass interference, defense. And no penalties for Florida right now in this ball game so far. Well, here comes a flag, as I said. Chop block, number 67 and number 61. P. Ryan again, breaking free. Up. Second and 15. Franks off his back foot to the end zone. And if they don't pick this up, Franks over the middle, but they will. Franks on the first half catch, still going inside the five. First and goal. And now Pal. It's Davis. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. He injured his shoulder freshman year, tore up his knee last year, and the sophomore here in the home. As the kickoff comes, and the Skyhawks. About 4 p.m. Eastern, and then like at 4 2, you know, out comes the report. And he's now the pass. Carried by Peyton Logan for second down and eight for the Skyhawks. Passes off the hand. Third down and eight. Backus hit as he throws. Catch is made by Logan, but has a lot of ground to make up and won't do. That's the difference today. Fourth and five. Here's the punt. Fair catch. The uh, university is going to play golf. Said he didn't hit it as far as he used to. He's going to get nine in. Swing out pass here to Jacob Copeland on his first catch tonight. Second down and two. And once again, on time, finding Cleveland. And is that going to drive? They honor him tonight. The T-shirts and more. There we go. As Emory Jones is... Coming out of high school, he's a dual threat. Great athleticism, can run it, but he can also zip it as well. Catch on the outside by Josh Hammond. So Franks on a first down and 10, pass, finds. P. Ryan, first down, and wrapped up just before. Good this year too. Flag is thrown. Holding offense number 72. The penalty to be enforced 10 yards from the previous. For the Gators. Franks, you can do this. Swing out, P. Ryan. Get some good blocking. Drag down at the fifth. Franks, catch is made at the five. Franks, and on the catch is Hammond. Franks gives to Piran, and he stretches for the touchdown. He's angry, though. I think yes. he's a better back when he squares those shoulders and gets downhill with that big body. They've had two weeks in between. Obviously a different type of opponent. On the recruiting trips for his son, Ty. Always a problem in games like this. You saw it three, three and outs for UT Martin, trying to avoid it this time. Colton Dowell on the catch. Nice. And almost 500 total yards for his team's win. Kane okay. age, right? Nice. Being in the same spot 14 years. Pressure coming in. And Backus escaping for the time being. He can run. He's got daylight. And he's going to be. Drop to the back. Franks' pass. And caught by him. Haven't dominated the line of scrimmage like they would have wanted to in this game. To this point. Franks in a high throw, but it's... And on a 
carry now. Look out, Copeland. Pierce. Felipe Franks out of this game. Kyle Trask is in to start the fourth quarter now for the Gators. It's a play fake, and on his pass to the end zone, it's caught by Jacob Copeland. Yesterday, sometimes I'd be like, ah, you don't have time for that. No, he's he does. He's got he's got a great staff working underneath him. Played it or sign it. First degree and master's degree as well. He said, I never thought I would probably be coaching and doing this. He just wanted to kind of get head coach himself in Mississippi State in 2009. Keeper here by the quarterback, Backus. And he's off to the races, being tracked down finally at the 20 yard line by those in the backfield. Instead, Backus lost it up to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Puts off by Kair Elam. And we'll start from the 20-yard line. First down and 10. And this pass almost intercepted. Warm-ups before game one. This ball stays on the ground. Not as they honor him. I think you said it. He was a World War II fighter mm -hmm. pilot. Naquan Wright has now checked in in the backfield. He gets the carry for Florida, so it's... Start. Offense. True freshman. Yeah, that's the thing. When you look down the line sometimes of the backups, Trask on second down and 14, dumps it off and finds Wright. I think Dan Mullen knew they were going to give him a little bit of a problem tonight with their exotic looks. Trask. Pass is caught from Wells. You gotta keep coaching. First punt of the night for Florida and Tommy Townsend, who was fourth in school history last year with an average of 45. Second time that Coach Simpson for UT Martin has faced up against Dan. It is now at a quarterback for UT Martin, third down and five. And the pass over the middle is caught. Jeremy Horton. Hudson, the outside catches Mangel starter, Dresser Wren got hurt. And this is a low snap that Hudson has to just... Hudson, wife is here at the game tonight. He flew down today and not part of that crazy travel schedule that the Skyhawks had to get here. And this ball will be down. Completion percentage through those two games. Yeah, not too bad, I would say, right? Here's... Emory Jones now is back in. Shoulders to be a quarterback, especially in the SEC. And off to Iverson Clement now. Who is in, bumping that tackle as it's down his feet. Clement. Tracked. And again, still developing in the yep. system, more of a special teams guy, but comes up with a big run and look out. Jones is smacked and the ball is intercepted by UT Martin. Picked off by Cecil Cherry. He's going down the sideline, still on his feet. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. Thanks to him, along with Matt Siegel on stats, Tim McDermott, our booth coordinator tonight. Here in Gainesville, as this pass from Jones goes over the middle, it's broken up. Pass interference. And Trask are both juniors. This is a redshirt freshman here. High snap, he recovers. Able to get a couple years. Jones right up the middle and he's in for the touchdown. Emory Jones. 16 yards. This extra point is being kicked by Chris Howard, the backup kicker, and that is up and through. I talked about it. I want my team peaking when we get to December, right? Through November into December. Williams. Terry Williams on the return to about the 34 yard line. First couple weeks of the season, we thought would be a little bit closer. There were not. And seven. Pass over. And mishandling. This. They played their tails off and uh, get ready for their conference play. Yeah, on the other side for Florida, there's been a BS school, if you will, and you're going to pay them about a million dollars, or you just bring it to win the game. Is it that much? 
more of a win if you played a, a so to get 80,000 here for this home opener against UT Martin, pretty good. Winning percentage here at home. I mean, in the last almost 30 years. Yeah. The number one fan, George Edmondson, a.k.a. Mr. Two Bits. A little slow start, but they got it going. Felipe Franks protected the full pencil line play. And get after it, get a little more aggressive, and they'll be okay. 542 total yards tonight for the Gators. As Dan Mullen and his staff with the win. And they have proved to 74 and 9 now in non conference home games since 1990. As you saw that stat, 89%. And they blank the Skyhawks here as the coaches get together.